Bruce Martin Payne as an English actor and producer. He was a member of the 1980s Brit Pack. Although he is best known for his villainous roles, Payne has played characters across the spectrum. His notable villainous roles include Charles Rain in Passenger 57, Jacob Kell in Highlander, Endgame, and Demoda in Dungeons and Dragons and Dungeons and Dragons 2, Wrath of the Dragon God. Payne notes of his acting approach, I, if I'm allowed to in terms of time, I really like to get into the character. Early life, Payne was born in Woking, Surrey, and grew up in New Hall, Surrey. He developed an interest for acting at an early age. In an interview with Impact magazine in 2001, Payne revealed that I know that my immediate family tell me that when I was very young I saw a play that my brother was in a Euro probably a Peter Pan pantomime because it involved a crocodile a Euro, and I apparently shouted out that crocodile is going to eat my brother and ran up on the stage. I don't remember that myself, but if it really happened, I think it shows that from an early age I loved that suspension of disbelief. At the age of 14 he was diagnosed with a slight form of spina bifida which by age 16 required surgery to rectify. Payne was hospitalized for six months following the operation. Payne continued school studies, despite a contact with a talent scout during that time. After his graduation, he enrolled in the National Youth Theatre for two seasons. Payne has described this experience as 400 kids thrown together to work on seven plays. In addition, Payne was occupied with the Edinburgh Festival Fringe for one season. He then auditioned for several fringe acting companies but was told he was too young and lacked experience. However, in 1979 he was admitted to the prestigious Royal Academy of Dramatic Art acting program. Before being accepted at RADA, Payne worked as a joiner, a salesman and a landscape gardener. Payne graduated from RADA in 1981 with seven major prizes for acting, comedy and physical presence. Payne was part of a new wave of actors to emerge from the Academy. Others included Jonathan Price, Juliette Stevenson, Alan Rickman, Anton Lesser, Kenneth Brenner and Fiona Shaw. Whilst at RADA, Payne wrote and directed himself in an adaptation of William Shakespeare's Macbeth in which he wielded a baseball bat on stage instead of a sword. This was chosen by the principal of RADA to be performed in front of Queen Elizabeth II, in one of her rare visits to the Academy. Payne would later appear on stage in both Julius Caesar and A Midsummer Night's Dream. Payne also played Carson Burnick in the Henrik Ibsen play The Pillars of Society while at RADA, a production in which Paul McGann also appeared. Acting career. Equals 1980s equals, Payne's first television role was in the Tales Out of School series. Payne played a PE teacher who comes across as more head bully than responsible adult during his classes. Payne's first major film role came in Privates on Parade in which he played the singing and dancing flight sergeant Kevin Cartwright. In 1983 he appeared in Michael Mann's horror film The Keep, as an unnamed border guard. In the same year Stephen Burkhoff cast him in his production of West at the Donmar Warehouse. Payne played Les, a member of an East End London gang intent on gaining revenge against the rival Oxton mob for the slaying of one of their number. Richard Corliss of Time magazine stated that Payne bestowed a frighteningly dynamic performance in the play. In 1986 both Payne and Burkhoff appeared in Julian Temple's musical Absolute Beginners. Payne played a psychotic pompous and pathetic racist named Flicker who participates in the 1958 Notting Hill race riots. One reviewer argued that Payne was the only actor to walk off absolute beginners with his reputation not only intact but enhanced, and that his portrayal of Flicker was a head but a reality in a phantasmagoria of overkill. One critic stated that Payne gave a meaty, saving grace performance in the film. A film journalist and editor, Anne Lloyd, selected Payne as the most promising newcomer of 1987 for his role in the film. In the same year Payne appeared in the Mel Brooks film Solar Babies, along with fellow British performer Alexei Sale, as filthy bounty hunters named Dogger and Malice. Payne said of his and Sale's performances in Vogue that the old image of an English arch-villain a Euro Boris Karloff, that sort of thing has turned upside down. We're just a couple of soaks. In 1989 he was cast in for Queen and Country as a drug kingpin named Colin. 
Payne and other young British actors who were becoming established film actors such as Tim Roth, Gary Oldman, Colin Firth and Paul McGann were dubbed the Brit Pack. Payne's performances endeared him to Warner Brothers who considered Bruce Payne as Bruce Wayne on their one-liner press marketing PR campaign for the first of Tim Burton's Batman films. Ultimately Michael Keaton acquired the role. Payne has commented that Warner were fascinated by the similarity between his name and that of Bruce Wayne. Payne has said that they drew up a very short short list and there I was on it. Obviously, I lost out in the end to Michael Keaton. In the same year Payne appeared as Dr. Burton in the dramatic film Zweifro and the film was nominated for Outstanding Feature Film at the German Film Awards. Equals 1990s equals, in 1991 Payne was cast as the devil in Switch. Payne was described as a delightfully wicked Satan by Film Review. The Providence Journal described him as a slick devil. In 1992 Payne was cast in his best-known role, opposite Wesley Snipes, as a real died in the wool villain, a notorious terrorist and hijacker, with a steely, demonic nerve, named Charles Rain, in Passenger 57. Writing about the film, the reviewer Marcus Troer, of Empire magazine, stated that Payne was a brilliantly disconcerting madman. With his flowing blonde Jesus locks, armor-piercing stare and casual sadism, he makes Hannibal Lecter look like a social worker a Euro, and like Anthony Hopkins' serial killer. Part of the man's menace is in the apparent contradiction between his articulate, well-spoken English and his offhand brutality. The Radio Times stated that Payne and Snipes both gave charismatic turns in the film. The New York Times stated that Payne brought a tongue-in-cheek humor to the psychopathic fiend. A reviewer for People magazine stated that Bruce Payne steals the plenier Euro, and the movie. In an article for the Waterloo Region Record, Jamie Portman described Payne as a suave and cultivated English actor playing a suave and cultivated killer named Charles Rain, and suggested that a key reason director Kevin Hooks chose him for the role was that he wanted a villain with as much magnetism as the hero. Payne was described as icily perfect as the villainous Rain in the Worcester Telegram and Gazette. Julius Marshall stated that Payne was ideal for his role, charming, dangerous a Euro the kind of evil genius you love to hate. The Star Tribune stated that Bruce Payne makes a splendid psychopath, consistently stealing scenes from the likes of Wesley Snipes and Elizabeth Hurley throughout Passenger 57 Feet. Equals 2000s equals, Payne portrayed the villain Jacob Kellen Highlander, Endgame, the third sequel to the original Highlander film. One reviewer said of Highlander, Endgame that the one in the cast that seems to be having the most fun is Bruce Payne. Traditionally Highlander villains give performances that go completely over the top and well into the stratosphere. Payne contrarily gives a performance where he enunciates every syllable with relish and dramatic weight, resulting in a performance that is entirely captivating whenever he is on screen. Andrew O'Hear, who reviewed the film for Salon.com, stated that playing Kell as a cockney thug with triple crucifixes embedded in the heels of his Doc Martens, Payne is more fun than either of the stars. A reviewer for Trash City stated that Endgame is pretty good, largely thanks to Bruce Payne's efforts as the bad guy, who is right up there with Clancy Brown's original decapitator, the Kurgan. Mark Andrews, writing for the Vancouver Sun, stated that Payne provided the focal point in the film and that he dived into his role with gusto. Andrews also stated that Payne's facial expressions rival Jim Carrey's in The Mask. Chris Wright, who reviewed the film for The Dispatch, stated that it contained brilliant performances by Christopher Lambert and Bruce Payne. Wright stated that Payne delivers a great performance as Jacob Kell blending smoothly the malicious vindictiveness of the embittered immortal with a sarcastic wit that provides needed humor. In the same year Payne played Demoda in Dungeons and Dragons, henchman of the malevolent Profan. Although the film was critically panned, Payne's performance was reviewed favorably. One reviewer said that Bruce Payne as Profan's nefarious assistant in his power-hungry schemes was the standout performance of all the actors in the film. Payne has a true lock on how to play a character that is menacing even without any show of power. His portrayal of Demoda calls to mind Doug Bradley's portrayal of Pinhead in the Hellraiser films, so coldly, coolly arrogant and confident is his character. Above and beyond the grade I give to this film, Payne has earned himself an A-plus in my gradebook.
Another reviewer stated that Payne's performance proved that he is one of Hollywood's more reliable villains. Brandon Chowan, who reviewed the film for Indie Pulse, stated that the standout in the film is the man who returns for the sequel, Bruce Payne. His character is written to be one note throughout, but Payne still manages to create an excellent villain. Once the audience gets past his blue lipstick, which is no small feat, Payne is a formidable and passionate force. The Charlotte Observer stated that menacing Bruce Payne gives the films one potent performance. Abby Bernstein, who reviewed the film for Audio Video Revolution stated that Payne was enjoyably evil as the secondary baddie in charge of capturing the rebels. In 2005, Payne returned to the role of Demoder in Dungeons and Dragons, Wrath of the Dragon God. Payne was the only member of the original cast in the sequel which was reviewed more favorably than the original. In 2006, Payne helped to launch the National Youth Theatre's 50th anniversary program along with Sir Ian McKellen, Timothy Spall, Diana Quick, Paula Wilcox, Jonathan Rother, newsreader Krishnan Guru Murthy and Little Britain's Matt Lucas and David Walliams. Equals 2010s In 2011, Payne appeared in the horror film Prowl. Payne played a blatantly untrustworthy hillbilly truck driver named Bernard in the film. Matt Withers, who reviewed the film for JoeBlow.com stated that Bruce Payne shows up as a trucker in a throwaway role that he makes anything but. Payne also appeared in Carmen's Kiss. In 2012 Payne voiced a demon in the found footage horror film Greystone Park. In 2013, Payne appeared in the Warner Brothers action film Getaway. Payne also appeared in the action film Vendetta as a sinister Whitehall Mandarin named Mr. Rooker. One reviewer of the film gave it 8 out of 10 and stated that Payne nearly steals the movie with a plum roll as the icy head of British Black Ops. In addition, Payne portrayed Nazi deputy Far One Quarter Raoul Rudolf Hess in the French film Victor Young Perez, which concerns the life of the Tunisian Jew flyweight boxer Victor Perez. Payne has appeared in two horror films produced by After Dark Films, which are yet to be released. Payne plays Winston in Re-Kill and stars as Lieutenant Sharp in Asylum. In addition, Payne has been cast as Carlos, a crime boss, in Falconman. Personal Life In November 2005, Payne was arrested at Heathrow Airport after disembarking a flight from Los Angeles and was later cautioned for using threatening behavior. Payne's lawyer stated that Payne had simply argued with another passenger who refused to stop using their mobile phone after being asked to do so by flight crew. Filmography Equals Film Equals, Actor, The Voice of Silence, Creators, The Past is Lord Cal, In Search of the Miraculous, Not as Corporation, Falconman as Carlos, The Homecoming as Charles Stone, Death of an Angel as Oliver Morgan, The Life and Death of Martin Laszlo as Martin Laszlo, White Lilies as Tony, Disorientated as Michelle, Ripper as Jack the Ripper, The Risen as Admin, The Antwerp Dolls as Ray Ferrino, Breakdown as Peter Greiner, Re-Kill as Winston, Age of Kill as Prime Minister, Asylum as Lieutenant Sharp, Final Command as Kane, Tales of the Supernatural as Father Doyle, Victor Young Perez. As Rudolf Hess, Vendetta as Mr. Rooker Getaway as Distinguished Man, Greystone Park as Demon, Carmen's Kiss as Michael, Prowl as Bernard, Dance Star as Harry, Brothel as Thief Death, Messages as Dr. Robert Golding, Dungeons and Dragons, Wrath of the Dragon God as Demoda, Paranoia 1.0 as The Neighbor, Hellborn as Dr. Maycourt Newton's Law, Apocalypse Revelation as Domitian, Steel as Lieutenant Magruder, Ripper as Marshall Kane, Never Say Never Mind, The Swedish Bikini Team as Mr. Blue Dungeons and Dragons as Demoda, Highlander. Endgame as Jacob Kell, Warlock 3, The End of Innocence as the Warlock. Slash Philip Covington, Sweepers as Dr. Cecil Hopper, Ravager as Cooper Wayne, No Contest 2 also known as Face the Evil 2 as Jack Terry, Counterfeit as Frankie, Aurora, Operation Intercept as Gordon Pruett, One Tough Bastard also known as One Man's Justice as Carl Savak, Necronomicon as Edward Dillapoa, The Cisco Kid as General Martin Dupre. Full Eclipse as Adam Garou, Passenger 57 as Charles Rain, Switch as the Devil, Howling 6, The Freaks as Ubby Harker, Pirates as Liam, Swifer and also known as Silence Like Glass as Dr. Burton, For Queen and Country as Colin. 
the fruit machine also known as Wonderland as Echo, Solar Babies as Dogger, Smart Money as Lawrence McNeese, Absolute Beginners as Flicker, Billy the Kid in the Green Bay's Vampire as T.O., Oxford Blues as Peter Howells, The Keeper's Border Guard No. 2, Privates on Parade as Flight Sergeant Kevin Cartwright, Producer, Lowball. Equals TV appearances equals, Charmed, Prince Charmed as Leader of the Order, Spooks also known as MI5, Smoke and Mirrors as Mickey Kaharias, Keen Eddie, Horsehair as Yellow, Dragnet, All That Glitters as Alex Karp, Britannic as Major Baker, MD, Cleopatra as Cassius, La Femme Nikita, Three Episodes as Jurgen, Tales from the Crypt, Comes the Dawn as Sergeant, Bergerac, The Messenger Boy as Jake, Yellow Thread Street, The Series as Nick Eaton, Storyboard, Snakes and Ladders as Gerald, Caprice, Miss Mupple, Nemesis as Michael Raphael, The Bell Run as Pace, Lost Belongings as Simon Hunt, The Equalizer, 18. With a Bullet as Greg Rivers, Operation Julius D.C. Malcolm Pollard, The Brief as Sergeant Davis R.M.P., Diana as Sergeant Rice, The Bill, Clutching at Straws as Adam March, West as Lay, Keep It in the Family, A Moving Fair as Policeman, Tales Out of School as Barat. Equals Stage Equals, Actor, Greek A Euro Roll, Eddie, Directed by Stephen Burkhoff A Euro Windham's Theatre, Alice A Euro Roll, The Inventor, Directed by Nicholas Hitner A Euro Playhouse Theatre, West A Euro Roll, Les, Directed by Stephen Burkhoff A Euro Don Mar, The Rocky Horror Picture Show A Euro Roll, Frank N. Furter, PIAF A Euro Roll, Eve Montand A Euro York Theatre Royal, No Names No Medals, A Midsummer Night's Dream Roll, Cobweb A Euro Nottingham Playhouse, Julius Caesar Roll, Julius Caesar A Euro Shaw Theatre, Macbeth A Euro Roll, Macbeth. Directed by Bruce Payne A Euro. Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, The Pillars of Society A Euro Roll, Carson Burnick, Directed by Glyn Idris Jones A Euro Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, Cabaret A Euro Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, Tis Pity She's a Whore A Euro Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, The Cherry Orchard A Euro Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, Director, Greek, Macbeth. References External links Bruce Payne at the Internet Movie Database